What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For those who don't know, my name is James. I'm a software engineer. I've been working in Flutter for a while. And lately, I've been taking you guys through the journey of rebuilding one of my apps from just to show, you know, how it, how it is to go from app idea to app store. But today, your boy's going to be switching it up. Some things have changed, and I'm just going to pivot for now. Before I get into that, I'm going to roll up at a coffee shop. I found this cool one in a different town. So I'm going to drive over there now, and then me and my friend are going to just start working. So why the pivot? Google, they have their LLM called Gemini, and they're throwing out a competition right now with a bunch of cash prizes in a bunch of different categories. So, you know, I was already building a LLM app on the side, just in research mode. So I figured now would be the perfect time to pivot to doing that, you know, because we have two months for the competition. So it's not long. So what is the app? The app is a finance app. Your boy needs help keeping track of his crap. So the core feature of the app would be leaning on Gemini or the LLM to chat with it. You can now chat with your finances. You can chat with something that knows all of your spending habits, all of your transactions, everything. And then you can get insightful information. And it works pretty well already. But I want to lean into the LLM more for stuff like smart push notifications. You know, maybe if you're reaching close to your budget limits, it can, you know, send you, you know, an insightful notification based off of past spending habits just to stop bad behavior. So I really want to try to lean in on the LLMs to curb bad spending habits and promote good spending ones. Okay, AI aside, what's going to be the feature of the app? At first, it, there was nothing different than any other chat. I mean, any other finance app. So I wasn't really loving it. At first, it was just going to be the same accounts, transactions, recurring and, you know, like budgeting features. We we're going to have some dashboard, but nothing crazy. But now I, th I figured, you know what? Those don't help me. Let me build something that will help me. So I started with a spreadsheet and I'll show you in the spreadsheet here. You can see what I'm doing now is I'm taking it by pay period. So paycheck to paycheck, pretty much. So for a paycheck, here's my income. Here's my expenses for that pay period. So then this is my what's safe to spend. And all I need to do is focus on not letting that go to zero. So we can focus on the, the, you know, the week to week, the smaller time spans, keep making good decisions. And then overall, we should be better. So the idea today is I'm going to take this spreadsheet and design an app. So first, I'm going to go out and get a bunch of resources, look at all these different examples, and then I'll start designing. But I want to keep this simple. At first, Finch was going to be really, I, I personally liked the design a lot. And I took inspiration from a couple big ones that I really liked that did things well, um, sometimes heavily inspired. And then, but now what we're going to do is I really want to simplify it, especially because we only have two months. I don't want to focus on anything super fancy. I just want it to look okay, look good. And I want it to be simple to use. So I'm going with a one screen design and then you can select your pay period and then that's all you can see. For that pay period, you can then, you know, see your spending buckets. You have your safe to spend, you have your income and you have your expenses. The idea here is how do you use the app now? The idea is like each day or however often you want to check it, check back in see how much is left in your safe to spend. You're also going to get some new transactions. So put those into the buckets that they need to go. I want to help the user be more cognizant of their spending. So that way, like each day they come in, they have to categorize these spending, these transactions. Also, the user can add a new category. For example, my co-founder wants to add savings as a category. You can add different things if you want. But at first, we're just going to start with the core um, we're going to do four. We're going to do safe to spend, sp savings, recurring expenses, and your income. But you can add as many as you want. And then you can also add manual transactions. That way, you know, it's flexible and you can just, we can make sure that it hits all your points. But that's the core feature of Finch. I think it's coming along good. It looks good to me. I think it's simple and I'm, I'm excited to see how it'll help. After we build this out, we're going to start focusing on the, the push notification side. And, you know, I'm curious to know what ideas you guys have. Do any of you struggle with this too? If so, 
what could help you, you know, manage it? Do you like the paycheck to paycheck idea for budgeting? And if you do, like share some feedback. Also, would you pay for this? You know, how much would you pay for it? I, I have a lot of questions and any information that you guys can help me out with would really help guide the project in a way that makes sense and can be really helpful. But thanks for watching guys. I'm excited to take you through this journey. I'm still gonna go back to Intently also, but this is kind of more important right now. Um, but also if you haven't yet, please like the video, subscribe. It really helps out a lot. I'm trying to grow on here and I'm trying to make more videos that help you guys. And they help me also stay consistent, but peace.